Hi, everyone. Happy New Year, and welcome to January's edition of the Reading Research Recap. There have been a spate of wonderful research papers with great classroom implications recently, and this continues in that trend. So this paper was a meta-analysis on enhanced or improved independent silent reading. What do I mean by enhanced or improved? Well, we'll get to that if you stick around, but the short too long didn't watch, too long didn't read version is that enhanced or improved silent reading does work. Now, a staggering statistic that I learned from this paper is that 85% of US fourth grade teachers engage in independent silent reading, also known as sustained silent reading on a daily basis with their students. That is in spite of the fact that the National Reading Panel found that it was yet unproven was their word. So not enough evidence to prove that it was effective, but then again, not enough high quality studies to determine otherwise. Perhaps the NRP found inconclusive results because researchers at the time noted a few issues with sustained silent reading practices. So one of the big ones was that struggling readers were pretty bad at choosing books appropriate for their level. Other issues included little interaction with the teachers over the text they were reading, as well as little accountability in the form of quizzes or reading logs. In response to the issues, researchers developed certain programs such as scaffolded silent reading, where they included additions or enhancements that helped struggling readers pick books through color coding or arranging a classroom library in a certain way, plus adding more teacher interactions and opportunities to pre-teach comprehension strategies. The researchers were really interested to see if these additions, these enhancements to independent silent reading were more effective. So did these work and um, provide some evidence that we can make independent silent reading a more positive or beneficial practice for our students, especially since teachers engage in it so often? So they combed, they searched the literature, they found about 50 studies that met their inclusion and exclusion criteria, and they aggregated the effect sizes. And what did they find? They found that these additions to the scaffolded silent reading time actually worked, but only for struggling readers. And a somewhat unexpected result is that teacher interaction was actually found to be not helpful. And the authors think this might be the case because in some of those studies that had teacher interactions, they were during the actual reading time, and they think that this may have distracted the students from engaging with the text. So what are the practical implications for you as a teacher? Well, I think in this case, they're pretty obvious. You're going to want to use these enhanced or improved independent silent reading practices. Check out this paper for exactly more detail on what those are and how to incorporate them. And that's all that I have, actually. So I'll see everyone in February.